guys, I'm Caleb, this is Memphis, and that's Jonathan, aka my dad, and we're at Wakaiwa Springs in Longwood, Florida. We've been on this trail for about 15 minutes, and we currently hit a fork in the road, so we have no idea where we're going. So the viewers out there and <coughs> this family will be very surprised. Um, let's start. Let's see. Oh, uh, we've seen a lot of holes in trees, the ground, under roots, where many snakes, lizards, animals can be living. We've seen monarch butterflies. We saw the gecko lizard. And we heard a hawk in the distance, too. Yeah. Yeah, the trail's getting really overgrown. See ya. Now, just be on the lookout for anything cool. Well, apparently, we took the wrong turn and the fork in the road, and now we kind of hit a dead end. But there is one thing cool here, and there's an animal trail over there. I think it's been used by maybe deers, and I don't see any grass. So let's see what we can find in here. That's really neat. Oh, there's a lizard that just ran through the grass there. It might be like a fox swarm, but not for oh. me. Oh, man, it goes into a very strange fork in the road. It goes that way, that way, that way. Let's see if we can uh, push our way through. Now you want to be careful for snakes. We don't want to like run into any and get bit. I don't think we can run this one, but we don't want Now you always want to be prepared on a hiking or camping trip. Bring, Don't forget to bring water, snack, and a first aid kit. Because if we don't have a first aid kit, if you get hurt, it could be a very big problem. It could get infested. That's why we have our bag fully uh, prepared for any, almost any situation. See here, there's some fungus on this stick right there. Little mushrooms on it. And we have an ant pile. I haven't seen one of those on the trail yet. And... You might be wondering, what is this on my neck? Well, it's a three-in-one. It has a compass in case I get lost. A whistle so I can call others if I get hurt or get lost. And I have a fire starter for really any situation I come that needs fire. Matches, cotton, flint and steel. It can be very useful. And my brother here has one too. Okay, we may have to start going the other way. The animal trail hit a dead end. We'll see you guys there. So as we were getting off the fork in the road, we found this tortoise walking along the trail. Look at it go. It is, it's pretty fast for a tortoise, honestly. We heard the crunching and we were like, wait, what's that? That's, that's pretty cool. Look at that. Oh man, I wouldn't expect to see a tortoise here. Me either. Say bye, tortoise. Are you, okay, so look, we found the tortoise's house. It's a little burrow inside the ground. How did we not see that when we came? That is awesome. I can't believe we caught that. It. Push the in there. Yep. I wonder if it has any other family members living in that burrow. Yeah, probably. So right now we're hydrating up because you want to make sure you drink water because if you don't drink water, you can get bad headaches, cramps, and even faint. And you don't want that to happen while you're on the trail. Um, now you see these markings on the trees right here? These are, these are trail markings. Not very sure what the colors stand for. If you know, put in the comments below. So right here, we found, we found some poison ivy off the trail. And if you see right here, this is big giant log. And right between where they cut it, there's a bunch of fungus. It was like overgrown. Covered with some over here too. Hey look, a bench. Wait! Look under it before you sit down. There's wasps, thieves, mosquitoes. They can bite you. I don't see any bees under this one. Oh, 
see any trees under that one either. You want to make sure you look under it because one time when we were hiking, there was a friend named Abby, about Memphis's age at the time. She sat down on a bench without looking and she got stung by a wasp. It was not a happy sight. Oh, we hit another fork in the road. Wait, okay, we can either go to Sand Lake, which is one mile, Camp Brown across the road, which is point two miles, or East West Cross Trail the same way. What do you think, Dad? We should go to Sand Lake, I think. Sand Lake? You yeah, approve? Yeah, Sand Lake. Let's go. Let's walk another one mile. So, I love camping a lot, ever since I was really little. And that's the reason I joined BSA Scouts. Troop 192. Currently, I'm a star rank. What about you, Memphis? I am a Cub Scout and I'm a Tiger. My dad here, filming, was in Boy Scouts when he was below 18 and he completed his eagle. So I found this small hole here. It could either be a small burrowing animal or um, possibly a snake hole. See, but you can tell it's not an ant hole because the hole is way too wide and it doesn't go that in deep. It looks like it's been filled in with sand. Have a shoe, okay? Okay, so we were just walking and we look up at this tree and we see a bee nest up in that hole. Look at all those bees surrounding that area. That is insane. You think there's honey in there? Probably. They must have been pollinating for a while now. We don't want to disturb them, let's just keep walking. Yeah, that's pretty cool though. Be careful, make sure they don't, they probably won't sting you, but just be careful. So, me and my family were looking for Sand Lake, but there was a fork in the road. We didn't know where to go. So we went down a trail, and then my dad looked up a map. And it turns out we were going the wrong way. Lucky for us, we were pretty close to where the fork in the road was. And that's why it's important to always have a map on you. We could have ended up who knows where. Finally made it. We're at Sand Lake. It's right up here. Come on. The map of the trails, and we found out there's a trail over there that can lead us around the whole entire lake. You guys think you want to do that? Let's do it. Yeah? Memphis, you want to hike? Yeah. Let's go. Point. Let's see if we can find anything exciting on the way there. No, stay too far behind. I have a wiggle. Oh, there's another little creek across the bridge. That's pretty cool. I mean, my legs are getting tired. Yeah, mine are too, but we've got to take some to speed it. There's all the action. Oh, 
Seriously. We need to keep nature clean. We can't have Ziploc bags, garbage, or recycling across the nature's forest. Pick up your trash and don't litter. We hiked from Wakawa Springs to Sand Lake, and now we're gonna hike back. We'll show you the springs when we get there. Let's go. So as we were walking back, we found, I think, tracks in the sand pile. So they go from there, and they go all the way to um, over here, and there's more over there. What do you think they are? Probably deer. I you think you might be right. Yeah, you can't really tell because the sand's kind of like gone in, but that's my estimate. That's kind of cool. So we finally got off Sand Lake, hiked about two miles. Now we're going back to Akayo Springs. We haven't seen many exciting things. Hey, look, it's that fungus we saw earlier. Remember that? Remember this? Ah, old memories. <laughs> finally made it to a pile of springs. Look how much trash we found on our about three mile hike. We can't litter on our trails. That hurts the environment and everything living in it. Oh, there's like a handle in there. Okay. We can cut that part out. So how's the water, guys? It's pretty warm. Yeah, it's pretty, it's pretty good for swimming. You know, um, Oklahoma Springs, it's 74 degrees Fahrenheit all year round. That's crazy. Amazing. Look at all these people. Is there anything else to do here besides swimming? Um, yeah, over there actually across that bridge, you can do canoeing and kayaking around uh, uh, around the creek that goes way off there. <laughs> this concludes our adventure of Iowa Springs. So remember, get out in nature and find something exciting.